Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. My name is Ahmed Al Basasi, pronounced Ahmed Al Badadi in Arabic, but that's not what's important. What is important is what's happening in Yemen. So I'm just going to briefly talk about Yemen before moving on to the title of this video and why I refuse to continue my ministry service. Yemen is facing the worst humanitarian crisis. This is due to years of war causing economic decline, leaving the country without any stability and aid. This proxy war is led by Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia are responsible for multiple airstrikes, killing innocents, targeting hospitals and breaking international law. Saudi Arabia are also responsible for blocking aid from going into the country. This has left 80% of the population in need of emergency aid. That's 24 million people in need of emergency aid. Yet our government continues to arm and support Saudi Arabia. We try to make our voices heard by protesting in London, Manchester, Liverpool and many other cities. We've even tried to email our MPs but clearly our words mean nothing to Boris Johnson. And it's clear that this government has blood on their hands. So with that being said, I refuse to continue my military service until the arms trade with Saudi Arabia has been put to an end. It is reported that a child dies every 10 minutes in Yemen. So I'll be standing outside 10 Down Street, blowing a whistle every 10 minutes so that they can hear every time a child dies due to a war they continue to arm and support. I joined the army in 2017. I took an oath to protect and serve this country, not to be part of a corrupt government that continues to arm and support terrorism. What made this decision so easy for me and why I choose to sacrifice a lot of things, including possibly my freedom, is for the simple fact that me, myself, as somebody that was born in Yemen, I could have easily fell victim to one of those airstrikes or died out of hunger. I've seen enough not to speak out, and I'd rather sleep peacefully in a cell than stay silent for a paycheck. Soldiers, you are not robots. We were born to care and love for one another, regardless of how different we are. No one is born to hate, but greed and selfishness has poisoned our hearts. I ask that you prioritise peace over war, unity over money, and justice over patriotism. We all have some sort of part to play to make this change happen. You are just as accountable as those who cause corruption if you choose to stay silent. Me and my good friend Ali Hosen have decided to start an organisation called Stand for Justice, SFJ. Join us to try to make the world a better place. We don't care what background you come from, what religion or beliefs you hold. We only care that you stand with us against injustice. We will be setting up projects on topics that we feel are not covered enough or dealt with correctly for that matter. Let your voices be heard. Let's demand change. Let's stand for justice. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah bless you all. There are politicians who are twisting and abusing religion and, uh, and, and different strains of the same religion in order to further their, their own political objectives. And that's one of the biggest problems in the whole, political problems in the whole region. And uh, the tragedy for me, and that's why you have these proxy wars being fought the whole time in that area, and that's why you've got international, you've got the, the Saudis, the, the Iran, everybody moving in and, and puppeteering and playing proxy wars. And it's, uh, it's a tragedy to watch. The country faces the world's worst humanitarian crisis, with the COVID-19 pandemic compounding the effect of five years of civil war. Houthi rebels backed by Iran have been fighting Yemen's government, itself backed by a Saudi-led coalition, which is supported by the US and the UK. Mawtini, mawtini. الجلال والجمال والسناء والبهاء في رباك في رباك والحياة والنجاة والهناء والرجاء في هواك في هواك هل أرى هل أراك 
سالما منعما وغانما مكرما سالما منعما وغانما مكرما هل أراك في علاك تبلغ السمان